This is WISN 12 News with breaking news. And that breaking news coming to us out of West Dallas. Crews battling a large apartment fire right now. It started just before 7 o'clock this morning near 88th Street and Maple, north of National Avenue. Fire officials are speaking now. Let's go ahead and listen. Morning. Um, the West Dallas Emergency Communication Center had received the first of several simultaneous 911 calls indicating a building fire in the 8800 block of West Maple Street in West Dallas. Um, within 30 seconds of receiving that first 911 call, a full first alarm structure assignment was dispatched to the scene, which had brought in automatic aid resources from both the Milwaukee Fire Department and the Wauwatosa Fire Department. While units were responding, they could actually see smoke um, from the fire station, and they knew that this was going to be a working fire. Um, as uh, fire department units pulled up on scene, they saw that this fire was heavily involved. This was well beyond the incipient stage, and they actually had fire conditions coming out of both the second floor and the third floor. Um, despite that, crews made very uh, valiant and very brave attacks. Um, they did enter inside the structure to both the second floor and the third floor, as well as a ladder truck company did rescue two people off of a third floor balcony that were trapped. Um, I'm happy to report that there were no civilian injuries. Um, this is an eight unit apartment building and all occupants from all eight units are accounted for and again have no injuries. Um, there are also no injuries to any firefighters. Um, as I said, crews made very brave and heroic um, attempts to attack this fire. However, because this fire was fully involved and because of the size of the structure, um, crews were actually withdrawn from the building a short time after due to the high heat and low visibility conditions. Um, we did have one firefighter that did become uh, separated from his crew, at which point a mayday was activated. However, within under one minute, that firefighter was reunited with his crew, and again, there were no injuries. We did also have a uh, ladder truck company that was on the roof trying to perform some ventilation on that roof, and they were then pulled off of that roof a short time later due to the high heat and heavy fire conditions. Um, as I said, there were two rescues that were made. Um, despite that, then, uh, we did have defensive water tower operations that were set up, which brought that fire under control. Um, the fire was placed under control uh, around 90 minutes after crews had first arrived on scene. The initial first alarm fire brought about 29 firefighters to the scene, and about 15 minutes after that, this escalated to a second alarm, which then brings in a total of over 60 firefighters to the scene. Um, we had assistance from the Milwaukee Fire Department, as I said, Wauwatosa Fire Department, as well as the Greenfield Fire Department. And we also had uh, great assistance from the uh, West Dallas Police Department and the West Dallas Water Department. Um, outside Any idea on cause? No, at this time, because we're still uh, letting crews inside the building very cautiously. There was a, a large amount of water that was dumped on this fire. So we are trying to limit activity inside the building at this time, which is where the investigation would begin. Um, so we will have a fire investigator begin their investigation, but at this time there's no uh, point to any kind of cause or origin available yet. Is the building inhabitable right now? Um, we'll still make it a, an investigation at this time. It sounds like um, all eight units will not be able to go back in um, just because of smoke and water damage. The majority of the fire damage was contained to the back of the building on the second floor and the third floor. But again, because of smoke damage and water damage um, and the utilities have also been secured to the structure, uh, nobody will be able to return. Some of the said there was a lot of electrical problems. Any idea if that may have been the cause? No idea at this time. Like I said, we won't have any idea until we actually have an investigator that's on scene and able to work to determine that cause and origin. We heard from some neighbors that there were pets in the house. Do you know anything about that? There were some pets that were rescued as well as contained inside um, their residence. Uh, but as an exact number, I'm not sure how many pets were, were totally rescued. And my last question is what time did this start? Uh, the first 911 call came in about 7.05. Okay, Do you know, have you ever had issues with this building before or been called here? Without having any previous knowledge, I wouldn't know. I don't have that, I don't have that info. So just to make sure we all get no, no, no one in the building, civilians or firefighters were hurt? Correct. Okay. Do you mentioned don't have any, how many people have been displaced? I don't. It's an eight-unit building, and I would say on average between two to four occupants, so likely 20 to 30. Um, and one other, we did receive assistance as well from the Milwaukee County Transit System. They were able to provide a bus for shelter for those residents. So thank you very much. If we do have any other information, just monitor our social media site. Uh, we may send out a press release later. If there is any other information, just monitor our social media. Thank you All right, so thank you. Kyle? Kyle. All right, so that was Deputy Chief Kyle Novak there speaking from the West Dallas Fire Department, giving us some updates on this large fire response there that's happening right now on 88th and Maple. We do know that there are... 
We do know that there are no injuries to have been reported in this two alarm fire. This call first came in just after 705 this morning. Two people did have to be rescued off of a balcony, but again, fortunately, no injuries reported to anybody who lived in the building or firefighters. This is a building that contained eight units and Deputy Chief Kyle Novak saying that uh, there's no word right now on a cause, but we do know that those residents will not be allowed back in because of uh, heavy smoke and water damage. Let's send it up to Matt Salimi. He's live in News Chopper 12, still flying over the scene. And Matt, we're getting this image on the right of our screen of what it looks like now compared to those flames that were shooting from the roof earlier. What are you seeing right now in regards to the firefight? Yeah, so it looks like they've pretty much got it contained at this point, Jaron. Uh, we have crews that were up in the attic. You can kind of still see them. They're underneath where the roof is still intact, kind of making sure nothing spread uh, between the shingles and the uh, roofing material on the inside. So you can see they've uh, gotten everything where we saw the flames earlier, where you can see all that uh, heavy damage from the fire. Uh, now they're just making sure that nothing else spread. At this point, though, I would say it looks like they have it contained, but occasionally we do see a water blast come from inside of that building. And we do know just from that new information from Deputy Chief Kyle Novak that uh, the, the crews that were there on the roof did have to uh, be pulled off at one point again because of just the high heat from this fire. Again, there was a May Day that went out because a firefighter was separated from his crew, but less than a minute later they were reunited. So again, no injuries to anybody in the building or firefighters. We will continue to follow this throughout the morning and have updates on 12 News at 11.